Hola mi gente. That's my Spanish. Sounds weak, right? Anyway, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Decided to do a video. Um, normally, before I get in my videos, I always give a shout out to Nikki, but uh, I'm kind of tired of giving shout outs. This year, me and, me and her have to sit down. Me and you have to sit down and have a long talk. Um, I know if you don't hear this, someone from your entourage will probably hear this, and hopefully they'll pass the message on to you, but definitely gotta have a talk. And before I go any further, let me also give a shout out to my boys, Johnny, Dale, Cornell, Chris W. I know you guys were reaching out to me, trying to reach out to me last year, because then you knew things were going rough for me, and I appreciate that you guys were reaching out to me, but now I can handle mine on my own, you know. No disrespect, I appreciate you cats. Oh, for those you don't know, from out, for those who know me from uptown, Johnny and Dale are uh, Fox and DJ. Um, so you cats know who I'm talking about. Um, like I said, fellas, don't worry, you're still in my thoughts, you know. I appreciate what you tried to do for me last year, but I'm alright. And now, excuse me for my personal stuff, but now let's get on to the video. I want to talk about protest. I actually haven't fi figured out what I'm going to name this video, but it's basically I want to talk about protesting and boycotting um, without results. Recently I got into it with a, with a, a female YouTuber who wants to boycott like uh, videos that um, objectify women, you know, sexual exploitation. I was trying to let her know that to me that was a waste of time because um, that's been done before and it, it gave no results. And one of the reasons why I did that was because I've gone to protest. I protested the shooting of Amadou Diallo. I protested the shooting of Sean Bell. And basically, at the end of that, when, when once all was said and done, the cops who did the shooting, um, they got off scot free. You know, they. Some of the guys lost their jobs, you know, some guys got a job with the, when, they, when they lost their job with the uh, NYPD, they <clears throat> got jobs with the fire department. But basically, they, you know, basically what it wound up was, you know, those guys just died, you know. Those guys died, you know, pretty much for nothing. But, and to me, I've learned that, they, to me, that's the way it made me feel. After I went to protest, it made me feel like I wasted my time. And I've learned that, if you protest and you do all that and then nothing happens because of it, it's almost like you wasted your time and it was like you are just as, you feel just as powerless as you were when it started than when it ended. So, um, strategies have to change. That's the way I look at it. Like, um, back in the day when Rosa Parks started that, you know, when she refused to sit down and started the bus track, it, that, that, that boycotting that bus company really, um, hurt that bus company and that's the reason why why you know things changed. Um, um, a lot of protests that were led by Martin Luther King, the protests themselves, they, they, they got a lot of publicity, but it actually led to action, it led to let uh, you know changes in law, changes in legislation, that um, that helped out you know not just not just black people but minorities in this country in general. And what's sad is a lot of mon other minorities are the ones who are really taking advantage of a lot of that stuff. We we're destroying ourselves, but anyway, that's besides the point. My point is that we have to have another strategy, not just, you know, I'm basically, I, I was going to say not just black people, but yeah, I'm basically talking to black people. We have to have another strategy just for trying to protest and boycott everything doesn't always work. Um, we need, uh, we need, you know, I mean, we need people in positions of power, because look at Sean Bell and um, Amdou Diallo. The first thing we wanted was what? A special prosecutor. A special prosecutor, we were asking that for the federal, from the federal government. Give us a special prosecutor make sure the case gets tried right in. Whether we do get it or we don't get it, we still got no justice, but I don't know. We have to figure out a different way to protest and one that's going to be effective. And there's going to be a little minor protest coming up because I know there's a show coming out called My All My Baby Mamas with some, some cat, some rapper who's associated with um, associated with somebody from the ATL. I can't even remember the guy's name right now off the top of my head, but He's associated with this rapper from ATL. He's supposed to be been down with him. He has like 11 kids by 10 baby mamas. A lot of people are going to do the silent protest by not watching the show and stuff like that. I'm not going to watch the show. Not really out of protest because um, a lot of people protest because they think it makes black people look bad. I don't think we can look any worse now than we're looking now. We're talking about black men and black women. Um, yeah, I think that we've kind of hit the bottom of the, you know, the bottom. We've hit the bottom. There's, there's no lower, lower, I don't think we can go any lower than, than we are right now. 
Maybe we can, but I hope not. The thing is, the question is, are, how, are we going to stay down at the bottom like this, or are we going to rise back up? You know, everyone who's listening to my videos, now I think the women are going to rise up before us than we do, because, you know, heck, being at the bottom, <laughs> a lot of brothers, you know, you know that, uh, I'm not going to get back into that, because that's the, I just be, I'll just be repeating myself, but, um, like, like I said, I think women are going to rise up first, but, we have to just figure out another way. I mean, people are going to boycott that. They're going to say, well, we're not going to watch that show. I mean, not watching that show, it'll probably still get high ratings because I know that the people want to separate um, the people from the hood from the people who have education or the hood rats from the educated girls, stuff like that. But, you know, maybe feel the people in the hood are going to watch that. I have to admit, I kind of want to watch it just to see how much of a train wreck is going to be. But,. I know it's not going to be anything to be proud of, or, you know, it's just going to be a train wreck. The last real reality show I watched was probably The Flavor of Love. The only reason why I watched that is because I wanted to see Hoops, because Hoops is like mad sexy and everything, all of that, but I knew she was ghetto as hell, but still, she was great to look at. Oh, and I also looked at the, the basketball wise because I wanted to see Doug Christie's wife beside her she was on a mission, <laughs> so I had to look at that. But I, I didn't. It's not like I watched a lot of episodes. I just, episodes. I just wanted to see what was going on with Doug Christie's wife. Um, but yeah, we have to figure out another way to protest in a way that's effective, not a way that's we're gonna do all this jumping up and down, hooping, hollering, marching in the streets. People, you know, reporters gonna be there to take pictures. You know, get seen on TV. And you know, at the end of the day, once you know, once all is said and done, nothing really happens. So. That's my position on issue, and I'm probably some people might say that I should present facts and stuff like that, but I don't really prepare. I actually don't really do that much preparation for the videos, to be quite honest, because I'm doing some other stuff. But um, uh, you know, maybe I should give more historical facts what happened with Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King marches and stuff like that. But people who really, really want to know about that stuff, you know, you can. You can look it up and Google it and stuff like that, and you, you'll see what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, that's my video. I still haven't decided what I'm going to name this, but like I said before, I hope everyone has a happy new year, and um, hope everything goes smooth for you guys. Peace.